right, so what we want to talk about today, um, we're going to skin you launch elf in FreeMacBoot Configurator. Now, or not FreeMacBoot Configurator, but FreeMacBoot, the screen you're seeing right now. Now, there's not really much we can do to it. I mean, besides changing the color, uh, changing where it says FreeMacBoot version 1.8, and then where it says um, use the up and down to browse the list, the up and down buttons, we can change all that. So what we're going to go ahead and do, uh, first we're going to go down to the FreeMacBoot Configurator, click on it. Choose your button layout. I'm going to go with the ULaunch Elf format, which is circle. And so now you see this. So first we're going to talk about launch keys. Launch keys are... Let me clear this really quick. We'll say for circle. If I hold the circle button while I'm booting up my PlayStation 2, I can select what it goes into. So we're going to go into memory card 1 boot. Whatever you put here, whether it's the toxic operating system, whether it's PS2 OS, you know, the HD loader, um, USB advance, whatever. So we're just going to go with HD loader. I just deleted that one. So circle. So now when I boot, as long as my memory card is inserted in slot 1 and I don't have, or I mean in slot 2, MC1 stands for slot 2, MC0 is 1. But anyways, as long as I don't have my memory card in slot 1 when I boot up, as long as it, it is in slot 2 with nothing else inserted, um, I can launch HD loader by pressing circle booting up. So we're just going to go back now. We've already configured for the E E2 launch keys. It's like, okay, so let's say you have your memory card in slot 1. Um, when you configure the E1 launch keys. Well, let's say that you put it into slot 2 and you want to still have it boot up. You can configure E2 launch keys to look for that in slot 2, which is your memory card. So E1 is slot 1, E2 is slot 2, and E3 is your USB storage device. So you can configure it to any way that you want. Um, so anyways, we're going to go into the OSDSYS options. And so now you see this here. So for configuring items, uh, We'll go ahead and do this really quick. I just want to I'll say delete launch disk. So if I wanted to insert something here, we'll just say A is the name. And let's say, you know, let's say that I named that Toxic OS. Let's say that this boot.elf right here is Toxic OS. Actually, let's say HD Loader Elf is. Item 5, return. So, next what we want to do, configure scrolling options, displayed items to 9. Top delimiter, we can change this. Just make sure that um, if you look right before my red little dot, or my red little um, notification bar there saying where I'm at in the text, don't delete uh, the little backwards L, it's actually a bracket. So just divert, delete where it says version 1.8 and put what you want in and free McBoot. Now, I'm doing mine a little bit different. I want it to and by the way, uh, square is space. So now at the top of my screen it'll say H4CK Gaming. Oops. Well, I didn't mean to delete the bottom delimiter, but if you go in there, um, you can go back, let's say, where it says uh, the, it looks like the backwards L, the L0, LA whatever 006 slash LO 007 that's the up and down arrows so where it says use and then to browse list um, 
I'll show you what I did. Just give me one second. So now it's going to say H4CK Gaming at the top, and it's going to uh, say Applications on the bottom. So now what we want to do, what we can do, we can change the colors here. So for the unselected color, um, I'm going to go ahead and change that to green, but for the selected color, I want it to be the unselected color. That way when I hover over it, it's going to be kind of a gray. So um, circle add, X subtract, just figure out which one you want. So there's my unselected color. So now for selected color, I'm going to remove the red. Oops, too much. Remove the blue. Oops, I'm going up there. Now you can set A for alpha to which color you want to use, but since everything else is going to be zeroed out and I'm just using green, I don't have to change that. So now I just want to brighten it up a little bit, some lime green there. We'll set it at 132. Um, so I think that's it. I think I've basically covered everything in here. For this, for the menu, you can have it, um, you know, you can offset that number to have it change to either the left or right side of the screen. Um, same thing with version and everything here. You can change that to where your name and everything is displayed differently. Um, know as far as on screen I like mine to be centered so I'm just gonna leave it at that um, so now for configure item 5 we'll look for that let me actually just double check that real fast okay um, go back to return really quick now here's what you want to make sure to do look and see which card uh, slot your memory card is in mine is in 2 so it would be NC1 so we're gonna save it you see it saved and then we're going to load it from the memory card slot 2 so now let's return to the PS2 browser free McBoot restart See at the top there it says my name H4CK Gaming Applications and there's my AAAAA folder that I added to the desktop or I mean not the desktop to the home screen. Um, so you can do that for whatever say it's a toxic operating system you label it toxic OS you insert your file path which I recommend if you have a, a mass storage device you copy that um, that ELF file that you want on your home screen and drop it into the boot file on your memory uh, your memory card uh, the boot folder. Um, just because if you have a USB flash drive inserted, uh, it, it can get kind of messy with configuration files. It'll boot it from random places and whatnot. So, um, other than that, that is it for the Freemic Boot Configurator. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes on this, so I'm just going to do the U Launch Elf in a second video. Um, so, there you have it. That is how you change that. We'll just uh, actually let me re restart it really quick. What did I set that to? Was it circle? We'll hold in circle. I held it in a little late here, so it may not boot into HD loader, but... Oh, nope, there it goes. 
So yeah, that's a launch key right there. Started up my PlayStation holding in the circle button. It brings me to the application that I had set. So anyways, guys, that is the video. Um, other than that, um, you know, you can install up to, I believe it's like, Five applications to your desktop. You can configure launch keys for every single button on the on the controller, including the select start and the L3 and R3 buttons. Um, so, anyways, guys, if you like the video, show it, you know, like it, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe for more.